Felipe says Jimmy is free till week one. There is no reason to cut him till then. Lynch has to remind Kyle every day about that. It's a good point. Yeah, absolutely. Free until he, week one. He gets his game checks one week at a time for 18 yes. weeks of the season. So every right. week he's on that roster, he he's one point something million every week. But until we go to week one, he hasn't been paid anything and nothing's guaranteed. A cut or a trade prior to that clears the books. And I can see, you know, John Lynch saying or Jed York saying, hey, Kyle, I know you want to get rid of Jimmy, but he's free until week one. And you haven't even seen Trey Lance in a preseason game yet. Right. You, you don't know even, what's. They haven't put the pads happen. on yet. Haven't even put the pads on yet. It's only been shorts and, and T-shirts. So pump the brakes. And that's a fair thing to say. To the most ardent Trey Lance supporter, it's a fair thing to say, yo, why don't you wait? There's no re- literally no reason to cut him right now. Unless, unless you think Justin Houston is going to sign in the next two days and is, you know, you gotta have him. But I mean, you signed Samson Ebucom, that's who you wanted. So it seems like you can wait. Yeah, it, yeah. Certainly. There's there's no obvious need for the cap space right now. There are other players yeah. on the roster you could renegotiate their contracts if you really yeah. needed to. And you never know what's going to happen in preseason. The last thing you want to do is go into the season with Josh Rosen as the starter. I mean, maybe maybe you'd like that, but I think, I think most I would. people would not. <laughs> uh, Johnny says, Jimmy had a freak injury against Kansas City, and unfortunate conditions in New York led to that sprain. There's no way that sprain had healed. Okay. Um, I mean, that's another part of this Dr. Jekyll segment. It, it really is the idea that he shouldn't have come back early on it. He felt the pressure to come back early on it. I'm sure part of that pressure came from Kyle because it was visible that he was frustrated. It was visible that he wanted his starting quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so, yes, I think Jimmy pushed it. He wanted to win. He wanted to win. He wa- And he hadn't bulked his lower body yet, but he has now. So it's it's all it's all good. That's what people don't get about Kyle. I mean, like they think he's so patient with Jimmy. Kyle's win loss record is not good. He's got he's got a losing record after four years. That's gonna follow him around his whole career. He doesn't want to do this anymore. He blames Jimmy. It's that clear. It's Jimmy's fault. Jimmy gets hurt. Right. Jimmy's Kyle, get, Jimmy gets hurt. Kyle is a yeah. super competitive person. If if you don't think that having that losing record bothers him, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. And his from his perspective, all he needs to win is a starting quarterback. That's all he needs. And yeah, Easy. Jimmy's a starting quarterback when he's out there. Uh, and he's not out there enough. I, I, I wonder if Kyle still, um, if Kyle holds the fact that Jimmy didn't come back at the end of the season against him. Because it kind of seemed to me like Jimmy might have made a business decision at the end. I it know sure we came back early right. on. Yeah, I know we came back early on when the season was in the balance. But when it was over, it seemed like he was like, well... You guys might get rid of me, and this season's over anyway, so I'm not coming back, as opposed to George Kittle, who did come if, back. If you, if you think about it from Jimmy's perspective, there's really nothing to gain in coming back from a business perspective. There was everything to lose. Had he come back, looked healthy, and still been terrible, yes. then it's fair to think he would be gone at this point. But because he didn't come back, it was still the unknown of, well – Maybe he would have been good if he had just been healthy, and therefore he's still on the roster. Had he come back and been terrible, that would have been it. But it's fair to hold that business decision against him if you're his coach, his teammate. I mean, it's a war game. These guys are going out there and sacrificing their bodies. Uh, You know, the game doesn't count, but they all went out there. Jimmy Ward came back from a concussion to play in the last game. Uh, George Kittle came back from a broken foot to play the last two weeks. Like, do it for your brothers, right? Are they your brothers or what? So I don't know. I'm not, it's it's just, I I almost feel like, you know, if I wonder if Kyle really was over with him at that point, you know, paying yeah. 27 million and you can't even gut it out. Like how long it's an ankle sprain, man. You don't move anyway. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But there have been, I mean, I know there's different grades of ankles of high ankle sprain but there have definitely been quarterbacks who've played on high ankle sprains you take yes. it up you don't move you don't play your best but you go out there and play for your team i don't know maybe yeah. jimmy not at his best isn't something he wants to show the world no yeah. I, it, it's a fair thing to wonder